Welcome back to Red Pan of Destiny, here for another episode of All Your Vehicles Are Belong to Us, the show where we collect all the vehicles from all the places. Uh, so you'll note that we, we did not um, acquire this spiker in any of the previous episodes, and that's because I had to delete about 10 episodes, uh, because I had some weird recording problems and they all got messed up. So I thought we'd start this video by going over the cars that we missed. Um, I'm not sure what the easiest way to find them all is, but I have them all on a list here. Uh, okay, so we got an RS6, obviously. Uh, had we got that before? Uh, no, I think this one's new. We got the HSV W427. We got the Opal Speedster Turbo thing. Uh, we got a two-door Subaru Impreza. We got a ridiculously fast Honda Civic. Um, was beating some Ferraris with that uh, in the recordings that didn't make it. Um, is that new? That might not be new. But I do remember that being a real handful, and I do not believe that part got recorded. Uh, we got an NSX, it seems, but... Uh, we have like three NSXs at this point because we have all the Acuras. Oh, that's that's not an Acura. Okay. So that must have been an extra. And then let's see. There should be an SLK55 in here somewhere. There it is. Creamy color. Uh, we already saw the R6. Ooh, uh, 288 GTO, which is not listed as a 288 for some reason, but that is a 288 GTO. And uh, the Spiker. Where's the spiker? Oh, it's not showing the spiker there because it's all the way over in the currently driving. So yeah, we got some cool cars. Um, let's go for a Ross, shall we? Um, Today we return to the Indian race a demanding road course just north of San Francisco. Oh, we're doing championship now. Okay. So I probably missed like two, three seasons. Nah, not three seasons, two seasons. Um, I've already set up a race that I can do later. So we'll do the C class. Um, I need to verify that this is correct. Indie Racing League circuit. Oh, I think the course is too short for F class. Did that get longer? I figure one of these, they expanded the Surely it's not a separate thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we need to be doing at least A class, apparently. So I guess the A, the league circuit is longer than the full circuit somehow. And we're gonna want a C class car. Yes, that one. I love my Lancia. Well, you did miss the first track day, uh, which is fun. It's basically a challenge of how many cars you can overtake in a single race. Um, and they're usually several classes below you, so you're flying past them. 
at two, three times the speed they're doing. And I believe we also lost the episode where I decided to turn on the rewind feature. Um, I've been having too many races where I keep having to restart the race because I failed. Um, and we don't have time for that. So rewind is on. Everything else is still full difficulty. And we're trying to drive two classes down, though that might be changing soon. Let me make sure that's all good. Yes, okay. Because with Rewind, you could just fix so many little problems that you could be competitive in any car, really. Within reason. And provided there aren't too many long straights, because those can cause you real headaches. But you can see I'm two classes down and they're barely pulling away from me. Ooh, what was going on there? It's like the revs bottomed out. But the 037 here is very well set up for cornering. Like, with no electronic assist, it's handling perfect. Ooh, that, ooh, that was nasty. But yeah, we're chasing down um, what was a brand new Ferrari when this game came out. I think it's been <laughs> replaced like three times since the game came out. Ooh, this, oh, this corner is very interesting. All right. Oh, that that mm, that was not a sound strategy. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. One flaw I've just discovered is this car does not allow you to see the mirror very well. You should have moved the stick a little bit and see it, but. Nope, 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 he's past me. The Viper, however, like, magically failed to pass me. I'm not really sure how he. He, like, basically steered behind me, so he had to slow down. I didn't even have to block him. Okay, we're going to have to see a race where we drive with the uh, three classes down, because... Well, let's see how competitive we are with the Ferrari, actually. Normally, that would be a problem <laughs> right now. I mean, there is a certain challenge to leaving the uh, rewind off and having to actually catch up after a crash like that, but... Then we risk having to redo these races because I'm not willing to let one that I need slide by because of the ridiculous achievement. Um, or, well, okay, it's a manageable achievement, but you kind of have to jump through some weird hoops to do it because of the way this game is set up. I just I just want to know who went, okay, yeah, let's have an achievement for all the events. Fair. Okay, that makes sense. Finish all the events or win all the events. That's fair achievement. But in World Tour mode, which functions differently from the list mode. So it's like, why don't you just let us do them all, 
world tour or no and still be the same number of races you just wouldn't have to go through all the weird like checks that I have to do to make sure that the track is actually one that we need to do uh, so I did hear some people on the, the forum saying you should do it later in the game so I don't know if once you finish the uh, progression of the career it starts to only give you ones that are on the list maybe but I don't know but right now it's very unpredictable on whether or not we need to do the race or not so So I am waiting for a race that doesn't matter so I can have a go at being three classes below and see how it goes. I don't really want to risk one of these because there's a chance that I might not be able to win even if I get everything perfect. Small chance. And I, I suspect that we are at uh, what would be the toggleable medium difficulty for the drivers. They seem to have started crashing less than they were. But they still seem to be idiots because they're so easy to catch up to. Like, I'm not sure what the power difference between these cars are, but I would imagine that this car has half the horsepower of a Viper. Of these big American muscle, like, hyper muscle cars. Could you call a Corvette a supercar back then? I don't, I'm not sure you could. I definitely don't think the Viper is a supercar. It's more of a um, hyper muscle car. It's just, here's a big giant engine in the middle, in the front of a sports car. We'll see what happens. I wonder if the engines of all those cars were ever put in pickup trucks. I know the um, the Viper's engine was, because there's the SRT-10 Dodge Ram, which is interesting. Um, and the uh, the old Ford GT shares its engine with the last-gen F-150 Lightning. I'm not sure about the new one. That might be a bespoke engine. I don't think think it's the same engine in the Raptor. But they both have turbocharged V6s, I think. So... Maybe? The new GT does have a turbo... I don't know what the new GT has, actually. <laughs> and then that Corvette. I'm, I feel like the Corvette engine is probably in a high-end Silverado. Maybe? Although they're... Hmm, they don't really do a performance Silverado as... Uh, oh, crap. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> oh, he's back. They do have a performance uh, Colorado, but I'm not sure it's really as fast as a Raptor. a shame they stopped making um, performance pickup trucks. Like the old uh, the GMC Cyclone. Wait. Yeah, the Cyclone. And there was also the GMC uh, Typhoon! Which is technically an SUV, but uh, in my opinion still has one of the best names ever put on a car. The Typhoon! And those were like those weren't huge trucks either. Those are pretty small SUVs, so they're pretty entertaining vehicles. And I think the Cyclone is definitely my favorite pickup truck of all time, just because just because the idea of um, GMC, a 
tr company dedicated to making trucks went and built a car faster than a Ferrari. It's hilarious. Definitely doesn't corner like a Ferrari, but it goes as fast as a Ferrari, so this is good enough. Awesome. And that is the end of the episode. I'm gonna get us an executive coop thing. See which one we want. Ooh, that's quite a price difference. So cheapest car. $95,000. And then uh, these these two, I think. These two are both 250000 This is the first time we've actually had a tie, I think. Uh, we'll go with the Aston just because of alphabetical. Even though they're both very close to the beginning of the alphabet. We've got an A and a B. Ooh, two white. Oh. Ah, oh, that's silver. That We're not doing cream. We're going to repaint this. No way we're doing cream. It's not white enough. I'm trying to look like the, uh, the Stig. Which this game is very convenient for because it puts you in a white racing suit. Now it's back to California for a race on the dry lake bed of Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. <gasps> Autocross! Oh, wait. This is the end of the episode. Damn. Do this next week.